Hey everyone, so this is a video in response to Roy from Christ Centered Ironworks. He did this fantastic video which I highly recommend checking out. Um, basically calling out blacksmiths all around the world for their fantastic ability to build community. And uh, it's great that that video that it uh, came from Roy because, I mean, what beginner blacksmith hasn't poured over Roy's videos um, <laughs> for many years. I'm, I know I'm guilty of it, uh, and I've had the, the great fortune to be able to interact with him in um, live streams before. He's a great and approachable guy. So when he put out this video um, about what does blacksmithing mean to me and what does the blacksmithing community mean to me, I, I had to respond because really I'm one of those guys that started out with nothing really, just a real interest in the craft. I mean, anyone that's followed my channel knows that I got into blacksmithing through my journey towards self-sufficiency and I found a passion that lit a fire in me that hasn't gone out for many years now. And the community for blacksmithing is so much different to the community for every, everywhere else. I mean, I've had a pretty diverse background, comically diverse, some would say, um, and some have said. Uh, of all sorts of things from music to gambling to I was a magician professionally at one point uh, engineering um, robotics lecturing psychology a lot of things but blacksmithing is where it's at uh, because this community compared to any other community that I've been a part of is approachable it's kind it's warm and it's all about getting in having a go there's a lot of fear, obviously, when you're dealing with a dangerous field, like lighting steel on fire and hitting it with hammers. So uh, getting rid of that uncertainty and turning it into certainty is a big deal. And to be able to actually approach these people who seem like these gods of the internet on, you know, you get John at Black Bear Forge, you get Roy at Christ at Ironworks, you get Yamez at Island Metal Forge, you get any of them. They're all just so approachable. They're all just great guys, and it's a joy to talk to them. They're happy to answer questions, and they, even if they can't always get to you, they try. They genuinely try. And, I mean, we've all been there. We've all started out with the, the cheap, nasty, Chinese-made cast anvil, old ball-peen hammer that we found at a, at a, um, like a flea market and converted something like these brake disc cal uh, or drum brake calipers into some functional tongs. You start out with that, and then, you know, that eventually evolves into you getting the proper hammers, the proper gear, better anvils, post vices. It turns into an absolute obsession, and that obsession only comes from doing. You can study and study and watch videos and read books all you want, but you only get better by doing, and to actually overcome that fear of doing something is hard sometimes, especially for anybody that's potentially nervous. So, uh, which is understandable. It's a dangerous, it's a dangerous hobby. Um, but also, the, if you love it as much as I do and get that passion about trying to make a living off of it is very intimidating. But to actually have even Roy being a great example again, people talking about the business a aspects of it, how to price your work, where to sell your work, that sort of thing requires a community of supportive blacksmiths. There's no competition between us. There's no comparing each other. There's just the work. There is just creating beautiful things out of hunks of raw metal that have been taken out of the earth. We are the kings of artisans, and to have the kings of the kings be so open and communicative, that's what matters to me. So thank you, Roy, for giving us this wonderful idea, and I hope more people spread the love, because, frankly, there's a lot of love to spread. I'll catch you guys on my next live stream and uh, definitely check out the playlist that is linked below that is um, showing off a lot of the other videos that other blacksmiths around the world are making in response to Roy's video. I'll catch you guys later.